Stating it clearly, if Namdi Kanu is not careful and his lawyer are not careful, Namdi Kanu is likely to die in the hands of DSS. So right now, Namdi Kanu suffer health collapse as DSS refuse to hospitalize him. Somebody who is actually sick and is collapsing, you now rejected, you know, you reject um for him to see the doctor. To know what is going on with his head and you know Una Bikano was arrested since 2021 and i think this is over three and a half years Una Bikano has been in the hands of the dss after fighting many legal battles to see that it's released but nothing has been done so Una Bikano now suffer health collapse as dss refuses to hospitalize him so guys i've been stating it earlier um since when i've been I'm um, talking concerning this issue there's a lot of um work going on at the back end to see that Nandi Kanu is not released you understand that to see that Nandi Kanu is not actually released so um right now the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra which is Mazi Nandi Kanu is believed to be suffering you know a very very critical health condition condition why in the detention of the department of state service you know this is not the first time they are doing it the one they did earlier when Nam Dikano seek for um doctor attention um last I think um in 2023 toward that December stroke uh, November stroke December they did not as they did not attend to it. So it was it was earlier 2024, February stroke January, they now accepted that it should see they now accepted for him to see a doctor. And even the doctor that they um actually brought was not even a qualified one. So now the issue is happening again. Namdekano is now having health issue, and now they are now failing to allow him to see his doctor, which is very very bad and showing that yes, there is some hidden secret and there is some corruption going on to see that this man actually died in the hands of the DSS. So this was disclosed by one of the Kano's lawyer, Maxwell Opara, on social media platform Twitter on Monday. So Opara explained. Um, in the video recording that the secret police have refused to move Nandikanu to Earthland um, Cardiovascular Consultant Limited for proper medical treatment. Can you see? For proper medical treatment, they have been denying Nandikanu, and this thing keeps affecting the health of Nandikanu. So, and now just came back from the DSS. Now, this is what um, um, Opara is actually saying. He said that he just came back from the DSS now where i went to visit mazin namdekano the condition i saw him is not something to write home about that he's trying to say that the condition he actually meeting namdekano oh no is something very very critical you understand so the cardiologist who has been treating namdekano has told the dss that he cannot be coming to the dss every time every week to be treating mazin namdekano this is against their medical you know rules so he is a US trained cardiovascular consultant and he said that he needs to have Unamdekano in his clinic. So at least to monitor him for two weeks, but the DSS said no. They expect it to you know to it should be through the court order. So right now the person treating Unamdekano now is now complaining. He now complain that it's not every time he will be coming to the DSS um um place to be treating Nam the canoe that is against their you know their rules and now if they are now seeking that Nam the canoe come over to his clinic so he can check Nam the canoe properly for at least one or two weeks but the DSS has refused they say it has to pass through court order so you know, he continues saying I can see the reason why the judiciary should be allowed themselves to be used by the executive he said sorry he said I can't see the reason why the judiciary should be allowed themselves to be used by the executive we have seen the best international practice that once somebody is sick even if the person is in prison it is um discovered that the person need to have best medical you know treatment they will release the person but the one of whom the canoe is quite different that's the anointing on a normal um, note if somebody is sick and is in prison they should allow you know him to have a proper medical checkup and proper treatment and now even the doctor now 
is now even saying, is it because um, Unamdekanu is an evil person? Is it because he's Mazin Unamdekanu? It is only a living that can face trial. Yes, all this trial they are doing, uh, it will later happen this thing. If Unamdekanu dies today, they can't give him any trial to do again. Ah yes, he will start calling for his people to come and carry his corpse to go and bury. So this is what the doctor now is now saying. It's now stating outrightly that now they cannot need proper health checkup. You understand? So this um this letter was written by you know Healthland Cardiovascular Consultant Limited, signed by Onye Godfrey, the medical director, and he is a f- um a fellow American colleague of cardiology. So and in the letter he said, based on um symptoms communicated to me. I strongly recommend that he is brought to my clinic so that a proper and focused examination including all necessary tests will be carried out to address his you know his issue. Can you see what is going on right now? So now the can is in a very very critical um, problem. So now after the letter was rejected, the man said he will no be go- he will no longer be going to the DSS office. He said, Dear Nigerians, it is the way is this is it the way to treat somebody the judiciary is no longer the judiciary we know because here is somebody you refuse to release you refuse to allow him um go on bail the supreme court said he never jumped bail you refuse to send him to prison where he will um he will have professionals you detained him in dss custody and they don't have adequate medical facility to address his case i must continue to talk whatever um they like it is or not bar okwara stated it outrightly so right now i want you to go to the comment section and share your opinion concerning what you think have a great day ahead bye